Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to the 9 pm English news edition. Here are the top stories. Launch of the mass screening program for coronavirus at the ministerial city. Hundred thousand dead in the United States and 175,000 dead in Europe balance cheat for the COVID-19. Hello and welcome again for having the news in details. The President of the Republic, His Excellency Mr. Ismail Omar Gele, sent a message of uh, congratulations uh, yesterday, a Wednesday, to the President of the Democratic and Federal Republic of uh, Ethiopia, Mrs. Uh, Sahali Worke Zeri, whose country is celebrating the anniversary of its National Day. In his message, uh, the Head of State wished the uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, Sahali Worke Zeri good health and happiness, as well as more well-being and prosperity to the bodily uh, people. Friends and neighbor of Ethiopia. Ethiopia today commands respect through the political determination that has raised it uh, to the rank of the most flourishing economies of the black continent. President Gale wrote, it is also a model society for the peaceful coexistence of peoples. He stressed, reiterating uh, Djibouti's commitment uh, to remain a reliable uh, and lasting partner in the successful process of pulling uh, the resources, economies, and health of all two uh, countries. A similar message was also addressed to the Ethiopian Prime Minister, Mr. Abiy Ahmed uh, Ali. Now, uh, the press briefing on the uh, COVID-19 situation by the Secretary General of Health, uh, Salah Bonita Traub, for this uh, uh, Thursday. 1,121 tests were performed, 217 positive cases of COVID-19. Still a contact person, uh, 56 uh, patients were healed, and two uh, deaths, unfortunately. The general assessment is as follows. 25 and 257 tests were carried out, 2,914 cases tested uh, for uh, COVID-19 were positive, 1,241 cases were confirmed, cured uh, 20 deaths in total please stay vigilant and stay at home a massive uh, coronavirus screening campaign continued uh, this morning in all uh, ministries offering testing to all employees who wish to be tested, as well as to uh, security guards and housewives. The objective of this initiative is indeed to combat, uh, to combat pardon, the uh, spread of the virus, which ravages and terrorizes the entire population of Djibouti. It must be noted that the uh, results will be confidential and subject to professional uh, secrecy. The employee declared positive will obviously be replaced to a time of his quarantine and will ensure that the deadline is respected, especially if, he, uh, if the employee is in contact with children she, uh, he encouraged. And now uh, the Minister of Muslim Affairs, Culture and Waqf Properties, His Excellency Mr. Uh, Mumin Hassan Barry, took part in the virtual forum of Ministers of Culture of the African Union and officials uh, to, of the arts, culture and her uh, heritage, heritage pardon, uh, sectors. Uh, the continent. This forum is a part of the continental strategy of the African Union to counter the coronavirus pandemic. Participants discussed the uh, challenges uh, facing the cultural and creative indus industries pardon, in this pandemic part of the period. They discussed measures to mitigate the impact of the pandemic on arts, culture, and heritage sectors by adv advocating uh, for solutions within the framework of the African uh, Union. In his speech, the Minister, uh, His Excellency Mr. Uh, Mumin Hassan uh, Barre, welcomed uh, he, this initiative uh, taken uh, by the African Union to assess the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the cultural sector, especially after uh, the deployment of containment measures and mobility restriction in most of the country affected by the pandemic. He added that the Republic of Djibouti has taken all measures to contain the spread of the coronavirus by adopting a tree uh, T approach, namely uh, testing, tracing, and uh, treating the con to, containment to, uh, to contain pardon, the spread of this uh, disease. In view of the result achieved, the minister, of, uh, the minister quoted uh, the United Nations Secretary General who paid a vibrant tribute to the President of the Republic, His Excellency Mr. Ismail Mergele, and the government of Djibouti for the strategy to combat uh, COVID-19. Our country is one of the few countries that have implemented mass screening campaign, thus recording the highest per uh, capita screening rate in the African continent, he added. With regard to the role of artists, the uh, ministry indicated that Jewish artists have marked their involvement in uh, the community awareness program. 
both on Djibouti radio and television and in social networks, which has contributed to collective awareness. With regard to the measures to be taken in the future, the minister noted that the quenching of COVID-19 on the cultural sector prompts us to put in place a revised cultural policy that takes into account the uh, shortcomings identified during uh, the confinement in the area of artistic creation, the living condition of artists and their mobility, as well as that of cultural uh, professional a while aiming pardon, at integrating the private sector into cultural uh, development in accordance with the vision of uh, Djibouti uh, 2035. It is uh, therefore important, to, he added, that the uh, cultural sector be, be, be included among the priorities of the African Union and member states through the establishment of a system of consultation and a platform with artists and cultural and economic partners. The, uh, to that end, the ministry emphasized the search of uh, synergies uh, and the pooling of resources and action within the African Union in order to develop a, a new vision that places people at, at the uh, center of our concerns. Finally, the minister agreed on the need to implement a plan to, a plan to strengthen uh, social security systems in the cultural sector. At the end of the meeting, there was discussion of uh, documenting and sharing good practices so that these experiences can be replicated in other member uh, states. Now, after the, the confinement of the institution uh, of the general administration, the public and uh, autonomous institution have resumed their work respecting, of course, the protection measures uh, and barrier measures to reduce uh, the transmission of the COVID-19 virus. While waiting for the opening of the cash register for the, uh, for the customers, some establishments have installed payment stands for the customer who uh, pay their bills. For example, EDD has set up its cash desk for paying bills in front of the explanade of uh, the people Palace. Every morning, the customers make the trip to pay the factories. Arrangements are in place to protect in front of the EDD stands for the protection of the customers. Now, the CNSS uh, is at the forefront of the national mass screening campaign for COVID-19. In this context, the CNSS has mobilized alongside the Ministry of Health mobile equipment to screen retirees with reduced uh, mobility, uh, particularly at home. Objective of this operation uh, to the attack among these uh, vulnerable people, those who do not show signs of coronavirus infection in order to provide them with rapid care. In addition, the CNSS is also offering voluntary COVID-19 tests to patients who visit these health facilities. This is the large format of edition prepared by Hamza and Mohammed and Awal Kildon. Since the beginning of the massive coronavirus screening, a CN, uh, the CNSS medical team has uh, been monitoring the different districts of the capital. The mission uh, to test at home the uh, pensions uh, who are bedridden, to which these pensioners we uh, reduced mobility to medical uh, team calls uh, on Mohammed Qasim to guide them. This paying agent at the CNSS keeps a list of the pensioners paying at home. Direction and uh, now the popular district of uh, Jebel, the teams composed of a doctor and laboratory technician are welcomed with joy. Without too much delay, the medical team starts the screening. The test is called uh, PCR. It consists of taking samples from the nose and throat. The diagnosis takes only a few minutes, but is crucial, especially for fragile people. The team carries out a series of screening with the other borders in leaving the area, the CNSS. Their mission is not an easy one, braving to heat by going door to door. The medical team also faces the refusal of some of the residents to be tested. But these difficulties do not discourage Dr. Mahad and his colleagues. The idea of saving elderly people by performing uh, these tests boosts their willingness to continue. In parallel with the home screening operation, the CNSS in Paul position in this fight against the coronavirus epidemic is carrying out voluntary tests on patients in its structures which have been refurbished to reduce the risk of contamination. Compliance with various measures, hand washing device, mask distribution. Among the safety measures in the transformation of a car park of CNSS car center into a COVID 19 management unit, a patient journey under high health security, according to the head, the head of the CNSS care services department, Mr. Gelly. 
since the installation of this device, the CNSS has detected several cases a patient who will uh, finally uh, be sent for treatment in one of the uh, quarantine and care zones of patients affected by the COVID-19, notably at the regional hospital of Arta, which is under the supervision of the CNSS, an institution that the, uh, at the heart of the national battle against the coronavirus for which the government is counting on the massive screening with the aim to control the spread of the virus. Now, following the death of the late Ismail, um, the, the Ismail Hamid, pardon, the Minister of, uh, Waqf, uh, Waqf, uh, of Culture con sent the condolences to the family of the late Ismail Hamid uh, yesterday. The deceased was the, uh, the president of the Defenato Cooperative in the Weimar sector of Tadjura region. We implore the Almighty said uh, to the uh, Minister to cover him with his mercy and to open the gates of his eternal paradise to him. Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raj'un. And now moving to international news, the symbolic 100,000 death mark has been crossed in the United States, the country most bereaved in the world by coronavirus with nearly a third of all deaths and contamination recorded on the planet according to the data from the Johns Hopkins Resource Center. But the epidemic continues to decline with fewer than 700 deaths per day in recent days, down from 2,000 per day, per day at the beginning of the month when the epidemic peaked. Donald Trump assures us that the border closure with China, then Europe, and recently with Brazil have saved thousands of lives. The American president received at the White House the governors of the, uh, the state of New York, the state most affected by the pandemic, with a third of the country's deaths. Andrew Cuomo came to ask the federal government for help to support the economy. He expressed his frustra frustration uh, pardon, at the inability of the Congress to adopt a real recovery plan and denounced the political tensions in the midst of the pandemic. New York City could soon uh, begin a uh, cautious deconfinement. Some businesses have already started to reopen on Long Island. For its part, the capital Washington will be begin its deconfinement on Friday with the reopening of hair saloons and Western uh, terraces. Now, uh, the pandemic uh, caused by the new coronavirus has killed more than 175 uh, people in Europe, nearly three quarters of uh, them in the United Kingdom, Italy, France and Spain. According to a report by AFP, based on official sources at 810 GMT on Thursday, with a total of 175,000 deaths from 2 million pardon, cases, Europe in the country hardest hit by the COVID-19 pandemic, which killed at least 300, 350,000 people worldwide. The United Kingdom, uh, 37,000, and Italy, 33,000 are the most affected European countries, followed by France, 28,596, uh, and Spain, 27,118. This is it for this edition of 9 p.m. Thank you for watching us, and have a wonderful night.